feels so good on the mouth. What's going on everyone? Welcome to the video. <laughs> it is Sunday afternoon, the day after I completed the 1000 Flamin' Hot Cheetos Challenge. If you haven't seen that video, even though I am sure you probably have, I'll have it linked up on the screen up here. Oh boy, let me tell you. That challenge wrecked me. Here's a quick look at how the rest of my day went yesterday. It is six hours after I finished the challenge. I've spent the past six hours editing the video slash trying not to die. I honestly feel worse right now than I did after I finished the challenge. My mouth is absolutely shredded. Like it feels like I'm sucking on a porcupine. <sighs> it's a grind. Yeah, so I was pretty much dying the whole day yesterday. Woke up this morning to a very strong surge of spice in my throat. I was like hunched over the sink in the bathroom for like 10 minutes, trying not to puke or pass out. Let me tell you the effects of that challenge were some of the worst after effects I've had from any food challenge I've ever done. And probably the worst is my mouth. My tongue is absolutely destroyed. The roof of my mouth is scraped up, absolutely destroyed. Not that I'm like super hungry because I did pound 7,000 calories yesterday, but I can't really eat anything. Like it's, you know, 4.15 today now, and all I've had today was I had a little bit of yogurt for breakfast because I literally cannot eat anything else without my mouth just dying. Like right now, I'm trying to eat this oatmeal. It, it did not happen. It hurts, just like really bad. I guess just in short, I am very uncomfortable, in a lot of pain, and I did it for the sake of a sick video. So please, watch the video, like the video, comment on the video, share the video with your friends. It better get a ton of views, because I am dying. Now, one thing I do want to address, because like, I feel like this is something I need to address. Why do I even do the food challenge videos? Like, I, as I have just explained, it's killing me. Like, why would I put myself through this much pain just for the sake of making videos? Well, you guys, the viewers, really enjoy the food challenge videos. They get by far more views than any other videos I post on this channel. So when I make food challenge videos, they tend to reach more people and get more new viewers to my channel. And then hopefully those new viewers will see my regular content, enjoy the regular content and stay as loyal subscribers. So the food challenge videos are really just like a hook try to draw the people in and then hopefully they stay for the normal content. Which hopefully provides some actual real meaningful value. Cause I mean there's no value in just like me making a video of myself pounding flaming Hot Cheetos for like two and a half hours. But yeah that's the reason I make them. Really just like as a draw to get people to receive the positive meaningful message that I have in my normal content and my normal vlogs. And then on an even deeper level I hope to push from this channel over to my second channel, Faith Lifestyle Movement, you already know, link in the description, where I make even more meaningful videos, very straightforward, inspirational, uplifting faith content. Hopefully I can push from the vlogs on this channel over to that channel. So yeah, that's kind of just an inside look at the, uh, the intent of these videos. Kind of, I guess, my three-step process of the food challenges, into the vlogs, into the Faith Lifestyle Movement content. But wherever I can get people on that spectrum, if I can provide some kind of meaningful value, great. Enough of the sit down chat, let's get into the action of this vlog. I'll see you guys later. It's about 6.30 a.m. Monday morning. I've got like a presentation slash report thing due for a class in roughly two hours. I haven't really started it yet. So yeah, we're gonna grind that out right now. I'm kind of a morning person, so I get stuff done in the a.m. And you know, multiple people have asked me like, you don't really show yourself doing homework that much in your videos. When do you do homework? Well, here you go. Here's me doing homework. All right, mate, it's breakfast, but the roof of my mouth is still absolutely destroyed. So what we're doing for breakfast here is I got a little bit of each of the types of food that I want to get. So we're gonna try out each of these foods to see which of them doesn't hurt when I eat it. All right, first of all, I got me some milk because I know that's not gonna hurt. Oh, it feels good too. We'll start with the eggs. <clears throat> kind of hurts a little bit. It's a little rough. It's not terrible. As long as the eggs aren't super hot, like if I let them sit for a little bit and cool off, I think it wouldn't be so bad. Next, potato. It's not terrible, 
They're not super rough. I mean, anything hurts, like, even a little bit, but the potatoes aren't super salty, so. I mean, I can probably eat some of the potatoes. Then we got this little glob of oatmeal here. All right, I think the oatmeal's safe. I think, I think we're pretty good, but the yogurt, you already know. I got the yogurt. Ah, oh, feels so good on the mouth. All right, I'm pleased with how that went. Done with classes for the day, but man, I wish I had brought this camera along with me to lunch, because I tried to eat my chicken and rice, but my mouth is so wrecked that it was just not happening. So I packaged it up, I might try to eat it later, but I did plan ahead because I knew that my mouth is dying. So I concocted some protein ice cream. You guys should already know, but if you don't, I'll have the video linked up on the screen for how to make this stuff. But it's cold and creamy, so it's uh, one of the few things that's not gonna destroy my mouth. Oh, that's good stuff. But uh, I figured I should probably update you guys because I'm sure you're probably wondering about my knee because as I'm sure you probably remember from a couple videos before, flashback. I almost died doing squats and I wrecked my knee. But surprisingly, after only a couple days, it's pretty much back to normal. Like today is Monday and it happened last Wednesday. So then five days now, it feels like there's almost no pain. So I'm very pleased that I did not actually mess anything up with my knee because that would have been very disappointing. Anyways, I'm gonna eat this ice cream. I'm gonna chill out. I'll catch you guys later. That would be so cool. Maybe it doesn't matter if social media is stupid. Yeah, say what's up to the vlog. Okay. I'm in the vlog! <laughs> Who wants to see hey, what we're vlog. doing? What are, what are we doing? We're Ex doing defense. Explain better. Okay. Can gather us. Actually, hold up, hold up. I can't see because the, the lighting is bad. I'll do it. I got it. Be in the hold vlog. On. Right here. Right Be here. in the vlog. We gather as a group and we read the readings for... Catholic Church Mass on Sunday. Talk about Jesus and how he's working in our lives. Cool. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Dominican Life Group, uh, Monday nights, uh, link in the description. Tuesday morning, it's a beautiful day out here. The sun is shining. We are walking over to the chapel. But you know, it's all my Christian peeps out there that are watching this video. Today's Tuesday, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday. So just a reminder, if you are not prepared for Lent yet, by the time this video goes up, it will probably be Ash Wednesday, and it will probably be the good old season of Lent. And I'll talk more about it in the next video about Ash Wednesday, what I'm doing for Lent, all that good stuff. But just a reminder, it's that time of year. Working on editing the video that I just recorded for my other channel, which is also about Lent, so if you're interested in hearing that video, it'll be up on the screen somewhere here. But, uh, fun news I figured I'd share with you guys. I got in the mail yesterday my official acceptance to be an RA next year. Exciting stuff, that's, uh, what I'll be doing next year. I guess I don't really know what else to say about that, except... That happened and it was cool. That does mean free room and boards. So that's a nice financial benefit, but more so, it gives me the opportunity to potentially help or impact my fellow students in some way. And that excites me because I love spreading positivity, impacting people, helping people in any way that I can. So yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Probably next time I see you guys, <clears throat> we'll be at the gym. Yeah, we pushed a 110 tonight, feeling strong as heck. That's the heaviest set of dumbbells they got there. Like, they're set off to the side. No one ever really uses them. I had to brush the dust off those bad boys. But we pushed them for a set of four on a slight incline. Loving the bulk, strength gains, let's go. We are now wrapping up the night with some oatmeal, and you already know, it's a two bowl kind of night because tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, which means both a no meat day and a fasting day, which means I know I'm gonna be low on calories tomorrow, so we gotta fuel up tonight.
right. But if you want to know more about that, you're going to have to watch the next video because we are wrapping up the vlog right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Give me any suggestions of things you would like to see in future vlogs. And if you're not subscribed to the channel already, we're growing like crazy. Hit that button down below. Join the family. Get off the track. Blah, blah, blah. Hop on the trainer. Get off the tracks. We're coming through here, the vlog. You know what? After you finish watching this vlog, however much time you got left in the day today, go make it great. Go out and do something. Go succeed at something. Go be powerful. Spread that positivity. Let's go. Oh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.